With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry, and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question, and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is: A solid sphere is thrown up a rough incline. The sphere rolls up without slipping and eventually comes down rolling without slipping. The direction of friction during upward and downward motion respectively is. So here we can say, suppose this is our rough inclined plane and there are two situations. In one situation, the solid sphere is going up the inclined plane and in other situation, the solid sphere is coming rolling down the inclined plane and in both the situations, here it is given that the pure rolling condition. So here it is going upwards and here this is coming downwards. So we know here by pure rolling condition, we must always be equal to r omega hence v is the velocity of the center of mass so we can say here the point of contact must have relative velocity zero so here the angular velocity direction sense must be in clockwise sense so that this sphere when rolls up the inclined plane we can say here the acceleration due to gravity here retards this motion and eventually here this velocity let's say becomes zero on reaching the top of the inclined plane hence we can see here this angular velocity must also retard for that we can say here the friction which let's say retards this angular velocity provide a providing a counter torque and here let's say opposite angular acceleration so here angular acceleration direction must be in let's say anti-clockwise direction so here we can say friction in the first case must be along up the inclined plane so while rolling up friction must be in upward direction now when it rolls down here initially it let's say rolls with initial velocity as zero and when it comes down here we can say here its velocity also increases and its angular velocity also increases hence we can see here it has velocity downward direction hence angular velocity for pure rolling condition must be in anti-clockwise direction hence this is an accelerating motion so here velocity increases with the help of we can say here acceleration due to gravity and here this let's say torque which rotates this sphere in let's say anti-clockwise sense must be acting let's say in upward direction providing a let's say here anti-clockwise torque so in this case also the friction must always act in the upward direction so here in both the cases we can say here friction act in upward direction hence upward and upward that is option number we can say 4 is the correct answer as the direction of friction during upward and downward motion respectively is upward and upward so option number 4 is the correct answer hence 4 is our answer for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today